host Kyrie and my ho and my co-host Jacob Beer. As the second day and the most expensive day of the Battle of Gettysburg rages on, the 17-mile-long train wagon of injured Confederates is getting longer. In case some of you viewers didn't know, there are female soldiers fighting in the battle as well. We're going to interview one today. You're right, Jacob. We're going to interview Evelyn Brunette, a female soldier who is currently fighting in the Battle of Gettysburg. Let's switch it over to our on-the-scenes reporter, Quentin Wiley. Here we are. On the scenes with Evelyn. So how do you feel being a soldier on the real battlefield? Well, the training and the battles are hard, but in the end, I'm glad to be fighting from my side. I heard. So how long have you been fighting? About the whole war so far, actually. So what kind of training do they make the soldiers who enlist do? We get up early in the morning, start marching for miles, run miles, and do lots of exercises. You need to learn to do this, you need to learn discipline and many basic combat techniques. This is one of the bloodiest battles of the war. How are you planning to outlive it? It's not about outliving it. I want to win for the cause, even if it costs my life. I have heard that the Union has already lost about 15,000 troops. Yes, but the Confederates have lost 20,000. We also have lost lots of horses, about 3,000 actually. We lost the first day, but we are winning now. Good. Last question. Yes. Yes, of course. How do you plan to win this battle? I don't know right now, but I will get orders from the general as it goes on. Okay, let's switch back over to our news anchors. Yes, and thank you for having me. Abraham Lincoln has posted another message. This is the Gettys Gettysburg Address. We will read it out loud for everyone and put it in our own words. 87 years ago, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and many others helped unite a new nation on the continent. They came looking for liberty and the idea that all men made, are made equal. We are now fighting the Civil War, testing what our nation can endure. We have met on a battlefield of this war. We went to make a portion of that field a resting place for the people who died in this war. I think it is fitting that we do this. But in, but in a larger sense, we cannot de dedicate this ground nor make it sacred. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have already done it. It is already sacred. We can no longer forget what has happened here. The living, however, need to finish the unfinished work that the people who fought in the Civil War advanced this far. It is for us to dedicate our time to the task before us. We must honor the dead and increase our devotion to where they were able to show the last full measure of devotion. We need to make sure that they did not die in vain. This nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. The government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from this earth. That's it for this news report. We'll keep everyone posted. This is news anchors Jacob and Kyrie signing, signing out. out.